face-offs. No matter where they are on the ice, it gives your team a distinct advantage if you can win that face-off and gain puck possession for your team. If you can gain puck possession and force the other team to either chase you or you can go on the offense right away, obviously it's going to lead to good things. On the other hand, if you lose the face-off and you get into chase mode or defensive mode right away, it's not a good way to start the attack. Basically what's happening when you're taking a face-off, no matter where you are on the ice, it's the centerman's job to read and react to what his opponent's doing, his opponent being the other centerman. You need to watch how he lines up, and you need to make note of how the other team, how the other four skaters on the team are lining up, and it's your job to make sure that you line up your teammates accordingly. There's four different variations of a face-off, depending on where you are on the ice and what's going on in the game, might dictate, dictate what you're going to do, what type of face-off you're going to try to win. Our first face-off is obviously just winning the puck straight back through our feet. Second one is winning it to one of the board sides. Third one is tying up the stick and using your body to kick it out. And then sometimes in the offensive zone, more useful in the offensive zone, but also used in plays in the neutral zone, is pushing that puck straight forward and either trying to spring a player up the boards or trying to get a shot on net. We're going to simulate all our face-offs from the offensive zone, and we're going to go through each four of the steps right now. When we're taking those face-offs, it's very important to make sure you get nice and low and you slide your hands down your stick a little bit. Okay? This is going to make it harder for the opponent to knock your stick around, and with your legs nice and wide, outside of shoulder width, it's going to give you a little bit more stability. Another good habit to get into is always line up legal when you're trying to practice your face-offs, okay? Always try to win them legally. Don't cheat because then you're going to get into the habit of trying to do that in a real game situation, okay? Justin and Alex are going to show us how it's done right now. First face-off, we win to the boards. Again, you want to watch the, the referee's hand as opposed to watching the ice. You want to make a move as soon as the puck leaves the ref's hands trying to get a jump on your other player. Another great face-off, pulling it straight back on your backhand through the skates. Again, everything comes down to puck concentration and basically just trying to beat your, your opponent off the draw. Next face-off we're going to try is the spin, where you draw the puck back. Notice how there, first thing he did was tie up the stick, contained his opponent's stick, and then spun in and was able to kick the puck out with his skates. Okay? Now thirdly, I'll, I'll jump in and in the offensive zone, a lot of the times, where you can catch your opponent sleeping, he thinks that you're either going to win the puck back, and you know a lot of the times that his goal is to win the puck back into the corner to his defenseman, or sometimes the winger. So a good thing to do to try to keep them, catch them sleeping sometimes is just try to beat them with a direct shot on the net. Again, I come in with my legs nice and wide, my hands down low, and I fire that puck right on the net, having my forwards press right away. A great way to keep the other centermen off guard, and a great play to try late in the game if you need a goal.